morning, good afternoon, and good evening, dear listeners, from wherever you have tuned into this channel all over the world. Do welcome to Verdict TV. Trend the news. Tension in choir community as Fulani Etzman act girl aid after refusal to allow him have sex up. Welcome once again and thank you for tuning in to this channel. But please endeavor to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. To the news details, please carefully listen to the end. Mohammed Abubakar, a 25 year old Katsu Viria, yeah, was charged in a magistrate court in Elorin, the capital of the state of Kwara, for allegedly inflicting physical injury on Mohammed Aisha, also 25 years old. The dispute between the two parties involved sex. He was charged with two counts of causing severe bodily harm as well as attempting to commit culpable homicide when he was out before the courts. The infractions were in violation of both section 246 and section 299 of the Quara State Penal Code Law. The case was reportedly reported to the police at the Lafayette Police Station by the medical director of the General Hospital in Lafayette, Dr. S. K. Suleiman. As stated in the first information reports compiled by the police, the victim was brought for treatment where she narrated that she went to Bush in search of she butter with her two sisters. Azana and Adeshitu, pardon, Adeshitu. Dr. Suleiman is cited as saying in the charge co- document, but they were attacked by the suspects, a Fulani, while the victim sustained a deep injury cut on her head. The statement stated, the victim sustained a deep injury cut on her head. The investigating officers testified in court that their findings revealed that the suspect demanded to have sex with the victim and her two younger sister, sisters, pardon, but refused and ran for their lives. But he, the suspect, chased them and in the process macheted the suspect severely on her head. The police report said, according to the police prosecutor, Ayane Benga, the investigation into this matter has not yet been finished. And as a result, the prosecutor is requesting that the courts deny the accused person bill. Magistrate Badeon Kampson issued a judgment in which he ordered the suspect to be remanded in custody and delayed the hearing to July 10, 2023. Now, this case is about rape, sexual assault. Now, we are in a community whereby young and old are assaulting younger ones and judgment need to be passed. Now, let us look at the case of this so-called man. You want to rape TV sisters. You want to have sex with them. And those people decided not to give it to you. And on their way, when they were filling in, and because he's a Katsuvera, you know, they will have their, their machete with them. And also the machete in which they will hide and also their stick. So he brought out the machete and macheted the sister on her head several times, which gave her a deep cut he has been arrested and he has been in the custody of the police but the court should make sure that he is not granted bail because if someone like that can actually machete someone then that kind of person can kill that person 
Because if he has been able to get hold of the lady, he might have sex with her and even kill her. So the courts should do the right thing to give the judgments. Now the courts even remanded him to July 10. But when the hearing comes July 10, they should not grant him any bill. They should not ask him to pay any fee. Because if the lady had died, will the bill in which they will give to him restore the life of that lady? Because the sufferings in which the lady will be, on the earth for that matter, our government needs to, to look into these categories that are parading themselves as Fulani headsmen in which they can do and undo in whatsoever community they find themselves. The belief that they, 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 they can carry their cattle anywhere and they will take charge of those places. Now they have put the life of this young lady at risk because that machete itself will not be sensitized. That is, different disease would have gone into our head and this is head for that matter. So the federal government should also look into this and make sure that this man goes to jail, is imprisoned because of what he has done, because this might not be the first time he's doing it. And thank God that the ants were able to catch him, the police were able to arrest him. So we look towards this because they said, as at now, the, the, there has not been, the investigation has not yet been finished. They are still investigating. But towards the investigation, and they should know that this man is a corporate and he needs to be jailed. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view to this issue? Do you think the government can actually do something to all these rapists, these Fulani etmen? Can they cop them? Please share your view in the comment section. Thank you.